We're going to put something new on the boat today, geeks. Hey, Bass Geek here. We got a couple of new products in for the new boat. These are going to make the experience even better. The first thing we got in is from Ashmore Marine. Now, Ashmore or Amp sent me some really cool stuff, and it's going to go with the bigger package that I just brought in and showed you. So this is some cable management stuff for my trolling motor, which it very much needs because it's only black taped on right now. So, uh, and specifically for my forward facing sonar. Now this will also go with this, which is their, I, I think they call it a stomp pad or stomp switch. So this is for my power poles. So my the front deck of the Camus is completely padded everywhere. And so this gives you a little more solid area to be able to mount those power pole up and down uh, remote foot step, foot switches. And it's gonna allow me to have a little more solid contact with them. Cause every once in a while I'll touch them and it'll push down and yeah, yeah, just nothing happens. So these are some cool products we're gonna install today. So if you guys seen the video where I was at the Bassmaster Classic, I was working with Camus, I interviewed this company right here. So Foresight, right? So they had a couple of very interesting products. They had a jack plate, which I was super, it's an electric jack plate, which I'm really interested in. Uh, and who knows, we may see that on maybe my next boat or as an upgrade on this boat. Well, I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. So all that being said, this is for lack of a better term, a turret for your live scope. Now, what I love about this one, I'll show you right now, or actually better yet, they can explain it better than I can. So here's the interview that I did with these guys about this product from the Bassmaster Classic in Knoxville. This is the Foresight forward-facing sonar mount. So we've all got forward-facing sonar in the boats. Uh, when you spot lock the trolling motor, you still want to be able to control that forward-facing sonar pointed where you want. That's where the Foresight mount comes in. So it still mounts to the trolling motor to allow you to still and deploy your forward-facing sonar, but you control it completely independently with a wireless foot pedal. So as you're going down, maybe you're you're trolling down, you're trying to look at a bank or something and, and you really want to control where you're looking at, you can actually put this into a scan or a sweep mode uh, with a sequence on the foot pedal. If you go left, left, right, you enter a scan mode and it's automatically going to sit there and scan back and forth for you. So you don't have to be doing that. Once you find something you really want to look at, really want to fish, you just hit a button, take it out of scan mode and now you can go back to controlling. One of the best features about our system is that it has a quick connect bracket. So if you're not gonna use it that day, or you just simply wanna stow it, remove that, take it off, you can lay it right on the deck, strap it down, you never have to worry. The power cable also has a, a quick connect in it, so if you wanna take the unit completely off, super simple to do back and forth. So last but not least, tell us where they can find you online. Do you have to buy through dealers or can you actually purchase from your website? We have dealers uh, and we're getting more every day, uh, but you can buy direct on our website. Uh, for the for the Foresight mount, you go to foresightmounts.com. If you're interested in the jack plate, you go to impulsejackplates.com and uh, yeah, look for those in a lot of other places as well, hopefully soon. So I've gone back and forth on whether I want something that is separate from my trolling motor for my forward facing sonar. And at times there are, and at times there aren't. There's a ton of these on the market. This one, and the reason why I decided to get one was really that interview that I did with this company because of its quick change ability. So what I've done is I've ordered me a zero degree mounting for this one. What I love about this is the ability to quickly put it on and take it off. 
during like the late fall, winter, uh, spring, some of the summer, I like to be able to keep it on my trolling motor because I can search as I'm moving toward the fish as the fish are really moving around. Sometimes during the winter though, and during the summer, the fish kind of sit still. So they're not necessarily chasing all the time or they're in one area. So in those times on my Garmin Force, I want to be able to use my anchor lock. And so when you're using your anchor lock, you know, the trolling motor, motor is kind of moving around. So like, let's say during the summertime, we're ledge fishing, we got a nice school out there, but the current and the wind is blowing us around to where basically we have to get off the, you know, off the back of the boat uh, or off to the side of the boat or it's positioning us in a, in a situation to where, you know, we're not able to use the anchor lock and the forward facing sonar. So this will allow me to be able to switch over and hopefully we're going to find out what i'm going to be able to do is have a mounting bracket on the trolling motor and a mounting bracket on the foresight uh if that works all i have to do is just change the transducer back and forth and i can use it whenever i want but like i said the modular build of the foresight allows me to just unscrew a cable, unclip it, and, and I can throw it in a rod locker if I want to until I'm ready to use it again. Let me show you inside the box. Now, cool that they sent me a hat. Really like that color of a hat too. And they also sent me a shirt. Now, what I really dig about this like I said, is the modular aspect. So it's got a cool little foot switch and you can speed it up and slow it down. I like the little foot switch. Of course, it's got the bracket to mount. But you can see right here is where we're gonna mount the forward facing sonar. And then right here, I don't know if you can see that, but there it is. All you have to do is, ugh, things will hit you, wire it in and you just unscrew and screw that in and pop. This thing pops right off with this little hickey do here. Like I said, you've seen it better in the video than I'm gonna be able to show you. And I'll show you a little bit later. But this will show you even better. All you have to do is unplug it and snap it off your boat. So I went ahead and took it out. What I like is you've got this right here and I believe that lights up. I don't remember if it does for sure or not, but it also points in the direction. And if you get it lined up correctly with your transducer, you're not gonna have to guess where it's at. Uh, but I mean, it's super simple. It's a nice clean design. You can speed it up uh, and slow it down, how quickly it turns. I like mine to turn a little quicker. Um, I'm excited to put this on the boat and see how well it works. So let's go do that now. The first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and take off or cut off whatever you have securing your cables. We're going to install, of course, the amp cable management right now. And guys, this is super simple, super easy. It just clips on. But you can see I've got this black tape and Garmin does not recommend you black taping your cable for your forward facing sonar because they, they don't want you pinching that cable. It's very sensitive, uh, which is another reason why I'm excited to have the amp cable management on here because it really just clips in and it keeps the cable somewhat free inside of that cable management of that clip. You can get two to maybe three, depending on the size of the cables in these clips. And I do plan on adding a hydro wave to this boat. So I should be able to have more than enough room inside this clip for the hydro wave cable and the transducer cable. Last but not least on the amp cable management is the top portion. And the great thing about installing it on the force trolling motor by Garmin is that all you have to do is put it up here, put two screws in and voila, you're in like flinging baby. 
So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install the amped stomp station. I think you can get this in several different colors. I just went ahead and went with the black. But the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna take your power pole buttons up. And then from there, you've got two different size screws. Uh, one that's gonna go in and, and hold the stomp station down. And then you've got some smaller screws. What I love about the stomp station is it's got these little divots where you line up your screws so you'll get them on there nice and straight every single time. As you can see, it raises them up a little bit and it gives you a solid platform to get those poles down. So on to the foresight install. The very first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna mount this bracket. And I will tell you, I have to get a little bit longer screws so that I can have my cable management and my foresight bracket on the Garmin Force. But it's basically the same mounting style. This bracket connects directly underneath the Garmin Force head, two screws. From there, you've got four screws that connect the bracket that holds the foresight and the bracket that is connected to the Garmin Force. So once that's in place, you get it on there good and straight, it's good and tightened down. Now, all you have to do is run the cable. But I went ahead and ran it through the amp cable management so that it wasn't just flopping around in front. Something that the Garmin Force does is it's got two ports on either side where you can run cable. I absolutely love that that they built in cable management. So we go ahead and I did have to tape the ends of the Foresight power cable. I could have run it down the other side, but it would have went underneath the trolling motor as you raised it up. So I just thought I'd run it right around the front, right down with all the other cables, and then back in to the control panel there on the front. So what I did, and I don't know that I would recommend doing this, I just went ahead and wired it in with my Garmin Force. What I did is I went ahead, just cut those, recrimped them, and made sure I used marine grade uh, connectors so that it had the heat shrink on there and it would close up nice and tight. That's pretty much it. Put everything back together and ran some tests. So what I love about this setup, this setup now, I had a little issue with the top part of the wire management, but not because it wouldn't fit, but because it kind of double stacked the foresight and the top cable management. So basically all I need to do is get some longer bolts because with both of them on there, I couldn't bolt it in. It didn't have enough threads left. So I'm gonna find me some longer bolts and get this back on because this will be a big player in keeping my cables looking nice and neat. And modular, that's the key word. When you think about this system, I want you to think about interchangeability, okay? I don't even know if that's a word, but we're gonna say it. Modular might be a better word, and it's so easy to pop on and pop off. You can do it on the water, put it in your rod locker, or store it in the boat if you don't want it. We've got the new mount coming in, so we're not even gonna have to change mounts on this thing. We're just gonna have to move it over. Now, if you've got them zip-tied, Velcroed, you know, the problem with that is simply going to be that the Velcro is going to wear out, the tape, you're going to have to cut and reapply every time. You know, zip ties, A, you're not supposed to use them with the live scope cable because they cut into the wire, and B, you're going to have to cut them every time. So with the Amped, the Ashmore, Ashmore Marine Products uh, cable management, you just pop them on and pop them off. And move your your wire and your transducer from one to the other and like i said you can easily change this in less than probably two minutes on the water it gives you the best of both worlds to me there's a lot of good ones out there a lot of good sort of you know forward facing sonar mounts that are independent from the trolling motor but to me this gives me the most flexibility of any of them. And being flexible on the water is what it's all about. 
Guys, I'm not sponsored by any of these. I don't have affiliate links for any of these companies. Uh, I don't even have discounts for you, okay? I'm sorry. All right, guys, like I said, check out Amped. I will put links in the description for both of these companies. Uh, if you go and you pick something up, at least tell them Bass Geek sent you. Tell them you've seen some stuff on Bass Geek and uh, let them know that, uh, you know, I'm using their products, right? Other than that, man, Christian's comments in the comment section below. You guys know I love to talk fishing with you. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that bell so you get the notifications when these videos come out. 100% Ward Squad, baby. You know I love you. Got to ring that bell so you can be part of that team. And as always, for each and every one of you, you geeks rock.